Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Arslan and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Alberta. This short lecture is about applications of fermentation pathways, but before I go, I go, I go into the details, I would like to explain what the fermentation is and how it differs from other energy production mechanisms such as cellular respiration. We know that living organisms need energy to carry out metabolic processes. And this energy must come from energy-rich organic molecules such as glucose. So, among all living organisms, the basic energy, energy production mechanism or the primary engine of energy production is glycolysis. This means this single process is present in all living organisms or the core biochemistry of the process didn't change during the course of evolution. In glycolysis, one molecule of glucose is converted into two molecules of pyruvate. Meanwhile, two molecules of ATP are produced and NAD plus from its oxidized form is reduced to NADH. The very important thing about glycolysis is that it must have NAD plus to keep running the glycolysis or energy production. If all the NAD plus is converted into NADH, the glycolysis will stop. So here comes a very important thing. NADH must drop off the electron and oxidize again to NAD plus. And how it is going to be done? This is done based on organism physiology. There are organisms who have mitochondria and electron transport chain they can do this job easily but there are other organisms who don't have electron transport chain but they are going to do they are going to do this the, the dropping of electron in subsequent processes after glycolysis and these processes are termed as fermentation there are different forms of fermentation and we are going to discuss in this lecture in detail there are different fermentation pathways and the diversity of these pathways depends on physiology of the organism, environmental condition and availability of substrate. Overall, two pathways have been well studied, which are lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. But there are other pathways as well, such as butane diol fermentation, propionic acid fermentation, mixed acid fermentation, etc. If we talk about alcoholic fermentation, the name, as the name says, the end product is alcohol. This phenomenon has been well researched from the animal gut, where gut microbiome is fermenting the comp complex organic molecules to alcohol. The first step in alcoholic fermentation is glycolysis, as I mentioned before. At the end of glycolysis, pyruvate is decarboxylated uh, to acetaldehyde in alcoholic fermentation and finally it is converted into ethanol. NADH which is already reduced in the glycolysis is regenerated in the final step of alcoholic fermentation. In application, if we talk about the application, the food industry comes to our mind at first, both the production of alcoholic beverages and in baking process, humans have long history to use alcoholic fermentation in the production of beer, wine, and bread. In energy industry, there is tremendous uh, potential of alcoholic fermentation to produce biofuel uh, from the agriculture biomasses such as sugar beet. The area is still under research and it is expected that in future energy industry will uh, utilizing this approach to produce biofuel at large amount. In medicine, alcohol offers antiseptic and disinfectant properties and there are also antidotes formed uh, through this process. So it has application in medicine as well. The other byproducts are also useful, such as production of fertilizer, alcohols, fuels, and they are derived through alcoholic fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation is the second major form of fermentation in which end product is lactate. Under natural condition, this process occurs in red blood cell and in muscle cell, particularly when the oxygen supply is limited, but energy has to come through. For example, when humans are running in red blood cells, mitochondria is not present. So uh, there is no electron transport chain and energy comes through glycolysis followed by lactic acid fermentation. 
first step is always glycolysis pyruvate is formed and then pyruvate is converted into lactate uh, by lactate acid dehydrogenase enzyme and nadh is oxidized to nad plus application of lactate fermentation is again very popular in food industry as aspergillus which is a fungi and lactobacillus which is a bacterium they have been used to produce soya sauce cheese yogurt and pickles in agriculture it is recently discovered that lactate fermenting bacteria when they are present in animal excreta and that animal excreta is used as a biofertilizer it reduces the proportion of plant pathogen in the soil which helps improve the plant health and also it minimizes the nutrient loss so this area is already being investigated and there might be a lot of potential in future for agriculture as well the second example of lactate fermentation in agriculture is the consumption of methane in the animal gut when lactate utilizing microbes are present in the rumen gut the prolific acetate help methanogens to colonize the gut in a syntrophic mechanism resulting in the consumption of methane which is which actually has to be released in the atmosphere but in this way it is consumed and lower amount of methane is released in medicine lactate fermentation have been used to treat dysbiosis due to probiotic effects and this phenomena is also being investigated propionic acid fermentation is a, is another form of fermentation in which both glucose and lactate can act as substrate for glycolysis at the end pyruvate is formed and this pyruvate is then sequentially converted into propionate along with the production of acetic acid co2 and adv if we talk about the applications application is in food industry again because propionic acid is used as preservative especially when it is present in the form of sodium and calcium salts it's already approved in united uh, in european union usa australia and new zealand and upon a sterification propionic acid produce fruit like odors so they have been used as artificial flavorings in medicine due to antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties propionic acid have seen tremendous application at 0.1 to 1% weight concentration it in, it can significantly inhibit the growth of mold and some bacteria a very good example is the antibiotic monansen derived through propionic acid fermentation uh, which is used to treat coccidiosis in humans and as well as other animals in chemical industry uh, intermediates uh, which are produced during manufacturing of polymers have seen tremendous application in the production of thermoplastic for example cellulose acetate propionate which is used as frame material for eyeglasses in toys in cigarette filters and in playing cards there are other applications as well in to be in the preparation of pesticides herbicide and pharmaceuticals butane diol fermentation is another form of fermentation in which butane diol is produced in a large amount and ethanol and acetate are produced in smaller amount The application of butane diol fermentation in chemical industry has been seen in the form of anti-freezing agent as well as in feed stock. In Pakistan, people were using butane diol in poultry farms as a low freezing point fuel that maintains the temperature during winter time. In food industry, the derivative of butane diol, which is diacetyl formed through catalytic dehydrogenation, is used as food additive. There are different products, food products, in which it is used, and these are listed here. For example, pop popcorn, potato chips, crackers, ice creams. In medicine and pharmaceuticals, 0.1% butane diol is known to have antiseptic properties, so it is used accordingly. So the take home message is there are different fermentation pathways, 
but the application mainly depends on the end products. But sometimes the uniqueness of process is also beneficial. For example, during in the in the bakery, the production of carbon dioxide results in the rise of uh, the bread. Similarly, the treating dysbiosis through probiotic effect of lactate acid fermentation is not because directly because of the end product, but the process itself where the micro lactate uh, fermenting bacteria are actually helping colonize other bacteria due to the intermediates formed to restore the gut health. In the end, I would like to conclude here. Thank you very much.